Um, it seems like the last three games you guys have started to figure something out in terms of run defense. What do you think has changed in that area for you all? Uh, as a defense, I just feel like our mentality and our mindset, uh, getting to the ball, 11 guys, we just made it an emphasis to just make sure that everybody's flying to the ball no matter where you are on the field. You, you and Max obviously continue to put up insane pressure numbers and getting to the quarterback. How much is that as a unit uh, from the tackles to you guys working together and kind of playing off each other to generate a lot of those pressures? Yeah, man, I feel like a lot of that credit goes to Coach Marinelli. Uh, he always, you know, uh, tells us that four equals one and uh, two dudes can't do it by themselves. Those interior guys are giving, giving us a lot of push and uh, just helping us uh, be able to create pressure. So uh, I feel like Russian cover goes together as well, and the guys in the back end are doing a tremendous job just locking guys down, giving us some time to get there. Yeah, Nick, we've asked you about Max every time you come in, whether it's post game, just in general, but where we're at now, what's impressed you most off the field in terms of, but still in that football mindset and preparation and, and being such a young guy, what's impressed you that you feed off of from this? Him. I see a lot of myself in him uh, when I was younger, 2017, 2016, when I first entered the league, and just that fire and that passion to be great. And it's not really off the field. It's really, it's really what we do in practice, the way he attacks his practice, uh, from individual drills all the way to the end of practice. We always competing, and that's what I see out of him, a motor. And that's how you become great. You've got a lot of consecutive games with, with sacks now. I mean, just consistent pressure. It seems like one, one of the better stretches you've ever had. Does it feel that way? Do you feel like you're hitting kind of a new level? Uh, absolutely, but that goes, like I said, goes back to rushing cover. Those guys in the back end are doing their thing. Uh, the guys in the front are doing their things, and I just feel like uh, film study, tremendous, tremendous amount of film studies has helped me a lot, and uh, that's the difference between uh, this year and the years uh, prior. You know, there's a mental side to playing rush uh, edge, much uh, as much I'm sure as, as the physical side, uh, setting people up, all that type of thing, uh, various uh, moves. Uh, do you learn from Max, and does Max learn from you? Is there a mutual? kind of learning for, uh, among you two? Absolutely. You will always communicate. Uh, you know, we have our, our, our coded language where I can tell them, you know, go underneath and I'll take it high or vice versa. But uh, I learn from everybody. Uh, I learn from Max. I learn from the old the older guys that played before me, the Hall of Famers, those guys like that. I just try to look at everybody's tape and see what they did strong. I just try to add those similar pieces to my game. Yannick, this is, uh, I believe, your sixth straight season of having at least eight sacks. Uh, what does that milestone mean to you, and what do you do that you feel like provides such consistency for you throughout your career? Uh, I just feel like my work ethic. Uh, I, I try to outwork everybody in the league, especially this past offseason. Uh, the things that I did uh, with my trainer, uh, I feel like we separated. Uh, sep I separated myself a lot tremendously. And, uh, you know, I'm just not just trying to just be a guy that was a good rusher in the NFL. When I'm done, I want people to always – put me on that Mount Rushmore, arguably, and uh, it's a long way to go. So I'm just going to keep working, keep chopping wood. I have to kind of follow up on that curiosity. You, I noticed you changed your profile picture to Kevin Green, and he's kind of a player in the league that was kind of tried to separate himself as just, you know, not more than just a pass rusher, but someone who is a complete player. Do you have a lot of inspiration from him? Definitely. Kevin Green, everywhere he went, he produced at a high level. And I feel like we have similar stories as far as, you know, I did my first four seasons in Jacksonville and then had to make that little journey to get to ultimately here. And I feel like uh, Minnesota, Baltimore, I, no matter how I was used, even if it was if I wasn't utilized the right way, I still managed to find and make plays. And uh, that's important. And the reason why I put Green up there, like I said, is because he went through a similar journey and he produced at a high level everywhere he went. You, you, you hear the job. phrase, I'm oh, sorry, you hear the phrase, in all walks of life, in, you know, everyday people, football players, whoever it is, be better than you were yesterday. For you, season after season, day after day, game after game, do you feel that you're better every single day? Are you at your best right now? I'm not at my best. I feel like I'm just scratching the surface. And uh, like I said, film, time, and, and just a lot of studying, I feel like goes a long way. And as the years have uh, progressed, I feel like the game has slowed down uh, tremendously for me and my lenses and my eyes. And that's why I feel like plays are coming quicker. Is it a good job against the run, uh, against the Cowboys, against a good running team? Um, kind of struggling in that area on Sunday against the Bengals. What did you guys do a little bit differently to kind of clean that up a little bit? My, uh, mentality and mindset, all 11 guys running to the ball. I feel like uh, even myself, uh, I could have did a better, uh, better job of, you know, uh, playing a run in that game, even though it was probably one of my better games playing a run, but it's always things that you can get better at. And we critiqued ourselves as a defense. And we came back the following week versus Dallas, and we held them to, what, 64 yards rushing? So it's pretty good as a defense. With so many teams kind of bunched up where they are in the standings right now with you guys, it's, it's probably hard to ignore 
what's going on with some of these other games, even though you want to focus on what you're doing? Like, how much is there kind of scoreboard watching, and how much is there, you know, let's ignore that and, and try to focus on what we're doing? Uh, I just feel like it's no secret. You know, you can see it everywhere on the TV, the playoff pictures and things like that. That should be motivation for us to be able to, you know, go out there this Sunday and try to put ourselves in the best position to get in that picture. I think you said a couple minutes ago that you feel like it's some stuff you did with your trainer in the offseason that's helped you, uh, you know, keep moving to a higher level. What, you know, now 11 games in, what do you look back on that you did this offseason you think specifically helped you on the field? This year? Uh, I think my, my lower body from down has become tremendously stronger. Like I said, uh, we do a lot of, lifting a lot of sled drags in the heat, you know, things of that nature. Uh, and also throughout the season, he's gave me a, a, a specific program that I follow every single day outside of the workouts that we get from here. And I'm just always trying to build the accessories and get the little muscles right. Yannick, you're, up, you're obviously preparing for the Washington offense, but their biggest improvement, their reason for sort of playing much better is their defense. Do you... As a defensive unit, do you look at that and say, we can't let their defense, is it, is it fuel you that they're coming in with a strong defense? We, we don't want to let them outshine us on our field? Uh, I don't really think we ever look at it like that in that kind of light. But, uh, you know, I, I have nothing but faith in our offense. And our offense clearly showed last week that they could get it done. We just have to be consistent in all three phases. And uh, we'll win the game. Okay. Cool. All right, folks.